know what it means. We know what it's about. It's not about necessarily about violence and, and this, that, and the other, and, and go out and kill all racists and, and punch a Nazi in the face and all this kind of stuff. Uh, yes, that, you know, that is anti-racist behavior, but it's also counterproductive uh, anti-racist behavior. So, uh, and then you have uh, other groups, uh, one being like Antifa and some other ones that, uh, that just are not gonna tolerate racism and they're gonna you know, combat it uh, physically, et cetera. Um, again, that's, that's another anti-racist approach, but, that, but that's what gives the people on the other side the definition of anti-racism because they're gonna see the negative. Mm -hmm. So perhaps you know, cha change the narrative from anti-racism to perhaps pro-humanity mm -hmm. rather than be anti-anything, be pro-something. Uh, that, you know, that, that would be one thing, because it's sort of like this, uh, you know, wor words are, are very powerful, depending upon what words you choose. Uh, we, when, when you're asked to describe a group of predominantly white men who go out in the woods uh, in camouflage, and they, and they dislike the government, and, and they practice all these uh, paramilitary maneuvers and survivalist tactics and all that, the name they're given is militia, right? But when you have a group of black people who do the exact same thing, they're not called militia, they're called militants. <laughs> and even though it's the same thing, the, the term militant has a little more negative connotation than the term militia. So uh, I'm just making that analogy from you know pro-humanity to anti-racist. It's the same thing, but one, you know, as, as a result of, of a lot of violence that has followed in anti-racism, um, it, it has given that term sort of a negative connotation.